All right, so we're gonna vlog it again because the first one was very popular. And by very popular, I mean, I think like three people watched it on YouTube. So at least there's three people that might be interested in this. But we're getting ready for state championships all weekend long in Oxford Vaughn Hemingway Stadium, uh, three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And uh, yeah, on the state championships radio network. So I'm pulling out of the house, getting ready to head to Oxford. Well, we gotta go to the bank first. Oxford's expensive, gotta get some money. And then we are headed to Oxford. So I'm glad to have you along for this journey and we'll see what happens. Look the two, the, the, the two bad baldies right here. Absolutely. Right here, there's a few more on the on the crew, but we know who the two OGs are. Yeah. Us right here. So we're here, and this is, apparently they're gonna put us on the field, Brandon. Uh, and I mean, over there, Jake, and the hair. There's the hair. Yeah, the, the hair. Best hair in sports. There guys. he is, right, right there. That's the hair. There he is. He's FaceTiming. You know, he's got all these people he can talk to. But so here we are, Vault Hemingway. It's nice, nice. Gonna be a little chilly tomorrow, I think. I brought the hunting clothes though, so we can uh, get the long johns out. Yeah, cold and rainy tomorrow night, but and, it's gonna be a good show. And then on Friday and Saturday, I think we're okay. But here we are, doing an on-field walkthrough, like like we're a football team or something, right? <laughs> oh, you gotta get a, you gotta get the feel. You're the one that's gonna be sideline reporting. Yeah. So you gotta get the feel of the turf yeah, and, I gotta and, be able, you know, and the grass, man. I gotta, I gotta get my legs under me. This got me like right over there. I was gonna say by the Chucky Mullins statue, but it's, it's not there. So the Chucky Mullins statue, they said they take it up after games so people don't come in and steal it. Can how, you believe that? How, how would you do that? Who's gonna steal Chucky oh, Mullins? You know, uh, you, know, you know somebody would. It says never quit right below it. It should say never steal. Never steal. Right up under too. But anyway, we're doing our walkthrough. So next time you see us will probably be, I don't know, tomorrow, Thursday, which will be Thursday at um, three o'clock for Kicking off the championships for Brandon and the bald heads. So we're, we're headed out to go meet up with uh, the crew at the hotel. And uh, then we are uh, headed to the field. We're gonna kind of like carpool together because uh, we only have a few, uh, you know, parking passes. So we're gonna roll together, pile in somebody's vehicle. I don't know, I think Brandon's maybe. You saw Brandon, uh, yeah, you know, on the previous video. The, you know, it's those guys with bald heads, right? They always just come through. So that's what we're doing. And so, yeah, we're headed to the hotel, hop in and go to the stadium. I had to put on a few more clothes. It's a little bit colder than I thought it was gonna be. And uh, they're gonna have me set up on the field. And I didn't see a heater down there. So uh, yeah, we had to go back and uh, get a few extra layers. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes, but we're off we're running. Hey, we're vlogging here, guys. We're walking up. What's up, dudes? Hey. What's up, fellas? We're walking. We're walking. There's Uncle Bill right here. He's leading the pack. Well, I think we left Brandon. Oh, there's Brandon. We might. He's doing the heavy lifting. Yeah, Brandon's got the heavy lifting. So we're making it here. Walk him away right in front of us. Uncle Bill, you just go because I mean. No. Yeah, I think it's a senior citizen there. Yeah, yeah. They'll stop, man. They will stop. You might recognize this place. Here. Watch that Ole Miss game on TV. All right, so here we are. Here we go. This is our setup right here. Now we're gonna get on the radio, cut up some clips. And Velma Jackson cheerleaders right here by us. They're getting ready to set their stuff up so they can run on the field. I guess the South is the home team, so they'll be coming out right here by us. There we go. The rest of the crew is way up there. That's where they are. They're like out of the rain, out of the cold, and everything else. And then you get me. Get me down here. Right here. And I got a good seat and everything. But just... Uh, we got a cold and rainy. Here we go. We got the setup here. You can take a look at our, at our, all of our timeline here. Timeline, guests lined up. Game notes. Justin! Game notes. Justin! 
We have our unit here. This is how we get on the air. Here we are. Right here on the on the field by the South Tunnel. And you know, well, people didn't believe me when I said the Chucky Mullen statue is not there. It's really not there. As I said, apparently they, they, they take it up and, and put it into the bowels of the stadium uh, somewhere, and uh, they wouldn't let they wouldn't tell us where that is. But this is a South Tunnel. This is where the Rebels uh, run out of. So we're here at the at the Vault Society private suite right here on the uh, on the field. Oh, Velma Jackson, right here. They're going to take the field next to us, so we should have some great uh, great video, great audio of them. But here we go. Bought him in Stadium from the surface, Jerry Hollingsworth Field. Hmm. Get ready for the 1A game between Biggersville and Velma Jackson. Right, the we're ready at 13 now. Our offensive keeper number two, Tyson Willis. Our first game, Colonel Ripken. The Bible receiver number six, Detroit We finished day one. Didn't get to vlog as much as I wanted to because of, well, we had some technical issues. Live radio, right? Started out great on the field. David Kellum, voice of the Rebels uh, for, you know, baseball for 40 plus years, 34, 35 for football. Joined us. Great interview. Helped us kick it off. Everything went fine. Then threw it to the big booth for the play-by-play. -play. And then things kind of went sideways. Uh, our unit on the field kind of had some technical issues. I had to go from the field up to the booth, back from the field about four or five times to, you know, get everything sorted out. And then I was just in the booth for the rest of the uh, of the day, and probably going to be there for the rest of the uh, of the weekend. But hey, after that, we were we were good to go. So great interview, David Kellum, Ben Ingram, uh, voice of the Atlanta Braves, was uh, j jumped on the tailgate show with us. And then uh, he was calling the, the last game of the day. Got to talk to him. Uh, another one of our sponsors, Visit Corinth. I talked to her earlier in the week. We aired that. Uh, two totally different football games. The 1A game, barn burner, shootout. Uh, Biggersville scores with nine seconds left to take the lead, gets the win. And then West Point and Laurel, slugfest. Uh, West Point just kind of does what West Point does. In the rain, started coming down. And uh, West Point got a big win. So uh, all in all, we had some some bumpy spots to the road, but hey, the show went on, and you know we we did we did well. So maybe I can vlog a little bit more tomorrow. Got a few more guests lined up to come on. Maybe uh, walk on the field a little bit more, get some more uh, pictures and things like that. So fingers crossed. But day one went well, and I got soaking wet right now because it was raining like crazy as we left the stadium. So. About to go in here and get into some dry clothes and eat that that uh, chicken fillet sandwich, the last one. I got it from catering. So if the rest of the crew is wondering where it went, I got it, a bag of chips and a cookie. So yeah, that's what I'm about to go do. See you tomorrow. All right, we're rolling out for day number two, state championships. And ready to head to the hotel, hop in the uh, the Jeep with. Uh, Jake Wimberly, the best, the best hair in the business, right? So we're gonna roll over with him, and uh, we're gonna be changing a few things in the broadcast booth, so mixing it up, optimizing some space a little bit better. So I'll be not as close to the commentators, so only bothering them while they're doing their thing. Gonna be back up top a little bit, but still gonna be still gonna be good. So I'll be there around all the guys. So today we got, let's see, it's eleven thirty right now. And they're leaving for the stadium at noon from the hotel. And uh, first game's not till 4. We'll uh, kick off the tailgate show at 3. And I do have a guest coming on, a uh, coach. Always like having coaches on because uh, they'll help us preview the uh, the games, right? Give us a little little X's and O's of the uh, of the games a little bit more than, you know, than us radio guys know. So uh, that's going to be that's gonna be fun. And then... We will uh, get to rocking and rolling. So, 
maybe I can vlog a little bit more today. Yesterday it was just hectic with rain and, and things changing and everything else. So uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more today. But stay tuned. that brought us some food uh, yesterday and today. And hey, how about this? They brought us some ranch. I said, uh, this looks like an IV bag of ranch dressing. So if any of us run low on ranch, we're just gonna hang us an IV and uh, replenish our sodium right here. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this. None of us, we all liked ranch, but we didn't wanna poke the bag and try to open it because we didn't wanna spill it everywhere. But. wrapped up day two of state championships still didn't do the vlog as much as i wanted to man things just get busy and crazy there in the uh, in the booth but uh, two good games the 2a and the 6a game tomorrow will be saturday day number three and that's the big one we got three games on saturday 4a uh 3a and 7a so it's gonna be a long day we're kick off at noon we go on the air at 11 Tomorrow, which means our call time at this stadium is probably 9.30, 10-ish. So, who knows? About to go in here and eat, and I spilled, somehow I spilled Coke all over my lap right there at the end of the game. I don't know if I got excited, but there's Coke all over my britches here. So, I got to go in and get two nights in a row, uh, wet wet clothes. First night was rain. This night was spilled Coke on my britches. So, that's what has been happening. I'm going to go in here and eat, get some dry clothes, go to bed. Do it again tomorrow. Now looking down the center of the field. Man's there. Catch is made at the 10-5. Touchdown. It's a house call. 58 yards. Taylor looked left and then was able to look right down the center of the field. DeQuadrian. The shotgun, Starkville showing pressure. Here's a reverse, rolling around the right side, looking for the corner. Now a toss to the end zone, and on his knees, Nehemiah Taylor makes the catch. Ran a misdirection and a halfback pass for a touchdown. What a call for the war. Hey, so we're back in Kosciuszko after the long weekend. I did not do a great job of keeping the vlog up all week. I got a lot of videos. So well, obviously you're seeing this, then you've already seen the videos, but not a lot of actual vlogging where like I'm talking into the thing. I did a few times and with a couple of the other guys the, on the crew and, and things like that. So, but you know what? Anyway, it's busy. It's super busy. So <laughs> I just get there to the booth and we just start doing things and you just kind of forget. So uh, we have a lot to do, but uh, hopefully if you made it this far, appreciate you following along. Um, things went mostly well for the, the, the state championships. We had a few hiccups on day one uh, with um, you kind of having to move me from on the field back up to the booth. But that's some things that are kind of out of our control, not really anything we could control, just sort of an equipment issue uh, there. But after that, we did good. Broadcast went well. It's a great crew of guys that, that get it done. Uh, Jared puts on a great production. And so, yeah, that's it. We wrapped it up. So hopefully uh, we'll be back again next year. We don't know where the games will be just yet. You know, they have been doing the, trying to do the rotation thing between uh, Oxford, Starfall, Hattiesburg. But, you know, they still have to make a decision on that. So hopefully uh, we'll know soon sooner rather than later but we don't know we'll just kind of wait and see and hope that they let us come back and do it again next year so that's it state 2023 state championship radio network signing off